I will show you how to extract license plate number from an image using YOLO and OCR. If you're new to my channel, I have a website at kevinwoodrobotics.com where I have a bunch of resources on robotics and computer vision. So check it out and subscribe to learn more. So the first thing we need to do is do YOLO training with our custom data set of our license plate pictures. So we're going to feed that into our YOLO training, and then we're also going to feed in our YOLO 11N model, and then the output will be our best model. So make sure to go ahead and install all the packages that we'll be using in this video today. So we have Torch here, and then we also have Ultralytics and Paddle OCR and Paddle Paddle. So here you can see I'm going to go to RoboFlow, go ahead and choose the license plate recognition here. You could choose that or any other data set that you want, but I'm going to be using this one for this video. Go ahead and come up here and download the project. Once you go there, choose the format you want. We're going to be using the YOLO v11 format, so choose that. So after you download the data set, you're going to unzip it and you're going to see a bunch of images of license plates. Next, you want to go over to Ultralytics and download the model that you want. Here you can see I'm using the YOLO 11N model. So for the training process, I'm going to utilize Google Colab. So go ahead and set it up. You're going to go to Notebook Settings here, and then you want to choose the GPU that you want. Here I'm going to be using the T4 GPU. The next up, you want to go ahead and set up your folders. I have my folders already on my Google Drive, so I'm just going to link it using the drive.mount here. And to actually start the training process, it's really simple. You just call the YOLO command and you'll get your model. Then what you want to do is call the model.train, pass in your data path and number of epochs, set your device to be CUDA, and then it'll start the training process. So I've reduced my data set so that I can run a little bit faster, but depending on what you do, you may wait a little bit longer. So go ahead and wait for the training to finish. Once it finishes, you can go ahead and look at your results. It's going to be under the runs, detect, the number of training, whatever number it is, and then it's going to be the results.png. But you can see here that our metrics MAP here got up to around 0.5, which is not terrible, but could have been better if you did a little bit more training. So here you can see this is one of our validation batch, and you can see that some of the license plate numbers it got, and then some of them it missed. But you just need to do a little bit more training if you want to get all of these situations correctly. So here you can see that under our weights folder, we go ahead and get our best or last model for our inference. Okay, so now we're ready to do inference. What we're going to do is take our test image, pass it into YOLO, and then the output will be a cropped image of our original image. Okay, so what we're going to do now is run our YOLO inference. We're going to take our YOLO model, pass in our best.pt model. Then we're going to call model and pass in our test image, which will give us our results. And then we're going to call results zero boxes.xyxy.cpu.numpy. So what this will give us is the upper left and bottom right xy coordinates of our image. And then we could use that to pass it into our OCR later on. So the final step is the OCR. This is the step where we actually get the license plate number from our cropped image. So to actually run the OCR, we're going to use the paddle OCR here, call that, and then set that equal to OCR. We're going to call OCR.OCR .OCR with our image. We're going to get our results, and then the data is going to be results 001. So you can see here that this is our image and the output, which I put into a JSON file. You can see that it matches. It got INA7021 with a confidence score of 0 0.87, so it's pretty good. Go ahead and test it out and see if it works for your application. If you're not sure which OCR method to use, go ahead and check out this video where I review different OCR models. So if you found this video helpful, give a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.